Hallelujah time. All right. Hi, my name is Luke with harmonica.com and I've got a standard 10 hole diatonic harmonica in the key of C and we're going to learn how to play hallelujah just like I played it in the intro to this video. If today's your first day playing the harmonica, you can still play the chorus without having to play any single notes. Let me show you how to do that really quickly. We're going to start on holes four and five. So here's one and two, two and three, three and four, four and five. So the top note is da. From there, we're going to slide to the right one hole, blow once, and draw twice. So all together, it sounds like. Now we're going to stay there, and we're going to do just the reverse. We're going to draw, blow, and then go one hole to the left two times. Now the first line repeats verbatim. Now the last line starts like the second line. Then we're gonna do draw blow on four or five. Down to draw three, four. And ending on three, four blow. Shall we try the whole thing? Ready, go. For the rest of this lesson, we're going to be playing single notes. If you haven't learned how to isolate single notes yet, you can check out my video, Single Notes for Beginners. And since we just played the chorus, let's learn the chorus first because it's just the top note of each double stop that we just played. Start on hole five. Let's find hole five. There's hole five. So starting on hole five, then moving to the right, one blow six and two draw sixes. Then staying there and coming back down. First line exactly the same. Now if you know how to bend a little bit, the draw six is a nice place to add some expressiveness with a little bend. And even if you don't know how to bend, you could try these articulations. You could try dwa. Or you could try kya. And the last line starts like the second line, draw six, blow six, blow five. Now we're going to do draw blow on hole five and then draw blow on hole four. And you could probably hear on that draw four, I gave it a little bend like I'm giving to the draw sixes. So I'm going to do it without bending one time so you can hear what it sounds like without bending, doing the whole chorus with single notes. Ready, go. To learn the verse, initially, I'm going to go ahead and use the words for this. I think it'll speed up the learning process. The first line starts with, well, I heard. And that's going to be two blow fives and a blow six. And well, I is kind of fast. Well, I heard, right? So two kind of fast blow fives. Let's find five again. All right, there's five. The rest of the first line is, there was a secret chord. There was a, we're going to do three blow sixes. And then secret chord, we're going to do three draw sixes. So the whole line. 
You might want to experiment with on well eye and on secret using an articulation of ta ta. That's the tip of the tongue off the top of the mouth. You could do it on all the notes for that matter. Ta 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 ta. This is art so you can bend as many or as few of the notes as you want to. I'm just going to make those tabs blue so you can see the places where I like to put a little bend. Second line is very similar to the first that David played. That's going to be 5-6-6-6. Six, six, six. So we're just starting with 1-5 instead of 2-5. Instead of staying on the blow 6 like we did in the first line, this time we're going down to the blow 5, then back up to the blow 6, and then the draw 6s. So the whole second line. And you can see I like to put a little bend on the pleased. And then, but you don't really care. That's one blow six followed by all blow sixes. And I kind of like to put a little bend on you and care because those are the most important words. For music, do ya? We got two blow sixes, a draw five, and back to two blow sixes. Now, well, it goes like this. That's just two blow fives and then four blow sixes. Then fourth the fifth, that's two draw sixes and a draw seven. I like to put a little bend on that first draw six. Lots of beginners struggle with the draw seven and the draw eight. Let me give you a couple hints. Number one, play them very quietly. Less is more, very just little light air. Don't play it like this. See if I play it hard, it doesn't even sound. But if I play it quietly, there it is. So play it very quietly and play it very relaxed. Relax, relax, relax. So that whole line, ready, go. The minor fall and the major lift, that's one blow six, seven draw sevens, and ending with a draw eight. The baffled king, one blow seven and three draw eights. Nice and light here again, good practice. Then we got blow seven, two blow eights. I'm saying kia on the first blow eight here to give it a little bend. Then there's a quick pause, and then we're coming down from the blow eight on hallelujah. Blow eight, two draw eights, and a blow seven. And again, we could bend into that if you want to. Kya. So that whole last line without any bends, nice and slow, sounds like this. Since I broke it down quite slow, let's kind of take it one line at a time and just make sure we got this. Third line. And from there we go to the chorus, which you already know. Now, if you're gonna go back and play along with what I played in the intro to this video, I just wanna make note of a couple things. Since we're playing this as an instrumental, we can take some liberties. So you'll notice that I played the melody for the second line as the first line as well. Why did I do that? Because I felt like it. I like the melody of the second line better. I don't know. I just did it like that. <laughs> and then I also did a little embellishment to the end of the last line. It started the same, but instead of ending on a draw eight to a blow seven, I added in a little triplet there, a draw blow draw on hole eight. And I didn't use my lungs. I just used my tongue. We can do that on the high holes. Hole eight, hole nine, hole 10. I'm just pushing my tongue forward and back and the air from the tongue is activating the reed. We can't really do that on the low notes. 
Doesn't sound very good. This is because it takes less air to activate the higher reeds and it takes more air to activate the lower reeds. And then after the blow seven, I also inserted a draw six. So the way I played the whole last line sounds like this. Why did I do that? Again, artistic license, but when I embellish a melody like this, I'm borrowing notes from the major pentatonic scale. Now, I'm not gonna go down a rabbit hole with this, but if you wanna learn the major pentatonic scale, here's the top two octaves. You can slow down the video and memorize this. And coming back down. So I could take notes from that scale and embellish the end of this melody in some other way. Maybe you're wanting to perform this song, but the high notes are tripping you up. One solution could be to buy a low C harmonica. The tabs are exactly the same, it just sounds one octave lower. So because it's lower, you won't have as much of a problem on those higher notes. So here's what it sounds like on a low C harmonica. And if you just have a C harmonica, you can still play along with me. It'll just sound like we're playing in octaves. And by the way, the backing track that I'm playing along with, I got off of YouTube from My Karaoke World. And I've got a link in the description below the video. If you're digging this lesson, you might want to go check out my beginner to boss course. I take you step by step on how to go from never having touched a harmonica, knowing nothing about music, and becoming a total boss on the harmonica. Check it out at harmonica.com. Hey, please leave a comment below the video and let me know which rendition you think sounds best. Another great option is Amazing Grace, and you can check out my lesson on that right here.